This is a demonstration of Boeing's forward side door pallet transfer system, showing the speed, efficiency, and safety with which palletized cargo can be transferred in or out of the Boeing cargo jet. This being a simulated power-off situation, the 7.5 by 11-foot door is raised manually as a standard forklift equipped with interim pallet staging is positioned beside the aircraft. The staging on which roller conveyor units are mounted is raised to the level of the aircraft floor and is aligned with the doorway. A safety space is established and maintained between the staging and the aircraft at all times. The brakes of the forklift are then locked and remain locked throughout the transfer operation, converting it to a stationary elevator, and the staging is lowered for alignment of the truck bed. This ground loading system utilizes standard off-the-shelf roller conveyor components which can be attached to the staging platform and any truck bed. In the aircraft, the ball transfer and roller conveyor units are designed for minimum weight and usable space penalties, yet transmit payload weight directly to the basic cargo jet structure. Only a small crew is required for efficient operation, and since no special skills are needed and standard equipment is used, crews are easily trained. Inside the aircraft, palletized cargo is restrained on the rollers by pallet space stops and side rails. No other tie-downs are required. Now properly positioned with respect to both the airplane and the truck, the staging on which are mounted standard roller conveyor units is raised for the first pallet in the aircraft doorway. And as it is leveled, the pallet locks in the doorway are cleared. And the stops at the forward end of the ball transfer unit are cleared. The pallet is then moved by the man on the staging over the ball transfer unit and is positioned on the staging where it is held by stops. The first pallet is lowered to the truck. The stops are cleared and the pallet is moved onto the truck. Simultaneously, the next pallet to be offloaded from the airplane is moved into position. Pallets are easily moved into position on the truck by two men. This loading system is also particularly well suited to handling containerized cargo. The next pallet is ready for transfer. The staging is raised, leveled with the aircraft, and quickly adjusted to the changing level of the airplane. Use of the forklift also permits easy adjustment of the staging to conform to changes in the level of the aircraft floor as the pallet is moved out. Manpower alone is sufficient to move pallets at safe speed. Simple and easily operated stops hold the pallet in position on the roller conveyor section of the staging, and side railings contribute to personnel safety. An additional safety factor should be noted. The tines of the forklift are fitted into channels in the staging floor, and the points of the forklift tines are never pointed toward the airplane. Unloading is done quickly, safely, and easily. The basic components used here were a forklift, a flatbed truck, and a platform. The ball transfer unit permits movement of pallets in any direction. Balls are spring-loaded to prevent damage to the lower surface of pallets and are arranged in staggered rows to distribute the wear on the pallet. This is a demonstration of the facility and safety with which loaded pallets can be moved over the ball transfer unit. The pallet is guided by retractable locks, which are cleared for transfer of the pallet from the cargo jet doorway to the staging. 
The ball transfer unit section in the doorway provides a versatile, maintenance-free method of moving loaded pallets safely by manpower alone. This cargo handling system breaks away from the notion that an aircraft cargo loading system need be complicated. Loading the aircraft is begun by positioning the forklift, leveling the staging with the truck bed, moving the pallet onto it, and raising it to the level of the aircraft floor. With the loading of each pallet, there is some change in the level and the fore and aft slope of the aircraft floor, of course. But the change does not greatly affect the movement of loaded pallets in the aircraft. And, just as in unloading, the mass of the forklift may be adjusted to compensate for differences between the slope of the floor of the aircraft and the staging platform. Pallet loads are shaped to conform to the aircraft's fuselage. Light disposable or knockdown containers conforming to the fuselage may also be used. Loading and unloading need not be done on a level surface. This system operates equally well on the standard cargo loading ramp gradient. Now that this system of cargo handling has proved to be adequate in test situations, further improvement will come from refinements of design. Using this system, nine pallets of the 463L type can be offloaded and nine more loaded into a C-135 airplane in 45 minutes. Each of the nine pallets will accommodate up to 8,000 pounds of cargo. Using the equipment shown here, a small crew can unload and load an airplane so quickly that turnaround time is no longer measured in hours. It is measured in minutes.